And it's Horde Night. But we should be nice and safe up here in, in church. Safe in the church. Well, except for buzzards. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days, and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Bomb Survival Series, where we play Seven Days on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we plan a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the nitrogen world generator. So, I uh, spent last night working my way from here, um, kind of around and in through this way. I had to kind of go around this mountain, and I still haven't completely gone around the entire perimeter of the mega city yet because it was slow going it was so dangerous uh, moving through the city last night you know both because of larry's um other zombies that are out at night and mountain lions i probably came across five five to six mountain lions uh in that path they are all over the place and super dangerous uh the only the one good thing about them though is they'll usually give you like you know a little growl or a snarl or a, a purr i guess you'd call it. i don't know um you know, so usually you'll hear them, and you'll almost always hear them before you see them. And the other good thing about that is they seem to have a fairly short aggro range. So, uh, but man, it's still it's still a little bit unnerving because of the fact that you just, you know, you can almost literally step right on them before you see them. If they didn't make that noise, then... <laughs> <laughs> then I would have already probably been mountain lion food more than once now. Anyway, um, we uh, we ran into a couple of had to, had to fight zombies a few times, and and my ammunition's getting pretty low, so I came across this uh, shotgun messiah store. So I'm gonna go ahead and break in there uh, to get more ammo and you know just loot it. I'm not gonna do a full recording of this. I'm just gonna kind of do a quick um, speed run uh, at least for you guys on the recording uh, with very little if any uh, narration. So uh, we'll get through this very quickly for you, and then after that, we'll decide uh, what our next move is. All right, so hope you guys enjoy the loot. Alright guys, this is what we ended up with. I didn't quite get a full stack of 7.62s back, but we got, uh, you know, we got 118, and we got a few more shotgun shells. I think we might have gotten a couple more 9 mils, I'm not really sure. However, we did get a couple of nice upgrades. We got um, an upgrade for our second AK, so we, ha we have two green AKs now, which is good. Uh, just a super, super minor upgrade uh, with the hunting knife. In fact, it really was more of a side trade. This has more durability, the other one had one more power attack but you know since i just use this for harvesting uh carcasses that, that doesn't really matter and um let's see i think 
I don't think we got anything else in terms of an actual upgrade. Uh, so here's all the loot here. I'm just going to leave this here in this drop chest because, you know, there's just no way I can carry it around right now. Uh, one thing I do need to do, though, is I need to be marking these drop chests that have enough, you know, significant loot in it that we will want to come... Whoops. Drop chest? <laughs> what the hell, man? Um, that we want to, you know, we'll want to come back for it later. So... I got this one here, and then, of course, um, there's this one that's back uh, down here by the by the library that's got all the stuff that we left at the library. So, okay, good. Um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up then this uh, looting session. Uh, we were attacked by quite a few Larrys, which is to be expected, but uh, didn't really have any problems, you know, with the zombies. And uh, so what I'm going to do from here now is I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera, and I'm just going to keep... You know, um, mapping out the perimeter of the city. And, well, you know, my main purpose is I'm paying attention to what's on the outskirts because I'm trying to find a trader. That's really what we're trying to do more than anything else. And, uh, you know, once I get the the whole perimeter of the city mapped out, if we haven't found a trader at that point, then we're going to have to make some decisions. So we'll worry about that when the time comes. All right, guys, I will bring you back at some point here in the near future, and we will proceed from there. Okay, guys, we are back, and um, it is actually Horde Night. Yes, it's uh, <laughs> almost 7 o'clock on Horde Night, as a matter of fact. And so what we're going to do is we're going to spend the Horde Night uh, in the church steeple. I'm not going to fight the Horde this time because I, I just don't have the resources to do so. So we're essentially going to cower in the tower <laughs> uh, for uh, for this hard night um, so let's uh, go ahead and start working on getting uh, up there shouldn't be too hard to um, you know get up in this place uh, and get it secured well getting up there's really easy it's just a matter of oh, talk on it a matter of getting it secured so Don't have quite enough punch with our archery skills to take down a buck in one shot. Whoop. Yeah, that's right. We have a full stack of meat anyway, so we don't actually need to do that. If he comes back out here and calms down, we might try it one more time. Um, let's hit this little cafe place, though, real quick. Because um, I think there might be some food or something in here. I'm not sure what's in here, but we'll try it. Oh shit, Larry's right over there. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh shit. Well, that's not working out so well. All right. We have to do things the the easy hard way here. And it's a good thing that uh Where's my sledgehammer? We actually need to be careful with these guys, because they can catch us on fire, of course. I've even had them catch me on fire while I've been standing up on the thing here. But they are easy to kill, though. They're very, very squishy. Okay, we have a Larry over there. Let's see if we can get him to get further over there. <laughs> Farther away than he is. Okay, that got his attention. Uh, let's put this down in case we need to reuse reuse it quickly. Oh, by the way, um, I ended up making a sweatshirt instead of a flannel shirt because uh, I had a couple more points. No, wait a minute. I made a sweatshirt. Then we looted a new sweatshirt at that shotgun messiah, which had even more points. That's that's what we did. I started saying that. I go, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like the way it went down. <laughs> uh, so that's what happened there. Okay, let's get rid of that stuff. We got to get moving here. It's getting late. It's getting late. So hopefully that's it for all the... sleepers in this little little POI here. Oh, 
Okay. Nice. That's pretty decent stuff. I don't want to step on that because that can actually catch you on fire. Two more coffee? We'll take that. Acid? We'll need that later. Is there uh, something up on top of here? If there is, I don't see it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and, and get moving then. Okay, the deer's calmed down. There we go. Oh, gosh dang it, Larry. Should get him far enough out of the way. What? Go. Go away. Okay. I've got um, nine eggs. Um, and like I said, a full stack of meat. So this is going to give us even more meat. So we'll make um, bacon and eggs when we get up in the tower. What do you got there? Eh, we don't care about that right now. Oh, there's a Larry. Yeah, get out of here, man. You're such a pain in the ass. Now, we are going to have um, a couple of buzzards that we're going to have to take out up here, which we can do. We will put that on here. Whenever I do this, I like to put two blocks here because walking through the circular thing can kind of push you off to the side sometimes. Okay, so that secures that. Um, but I do want to go down. We'll, we'll loot this stuff after we fully secure everything. Um, let's just put a couple of torches up here for now and um uh let's loot this now just so i have a, a container to put some stuff in uh okay so let me put this stuff in here and then we've got to go down and and secure uh a couple more places we have like one in-game hour to do that Okay, so right down here are two buzzards. Let's see if we can crossbow them. Right in the face. Okay, good. Now, um, let's very, very ever so gingerly
Okay, that should be good. Oh shit, there's another one. Come here, you bastard. Now he went up to our spot. <laughs> there's usually only two up here. I'm surprised there's a third one. He's kind of stuck. Here, let's go over here and see if we can get him to come at us. Come at me, bro. Where, where are you going? We don't have time for this. There we go. Come on, man. Quit screwing around. Okay. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to break away uh, this little section of roof here because the Zeeks can theoretically get up here from down below if they take the right pathing. And they could come around here and then get more, you know, I mean, we'd still probably be okay even without that, but let's just not take any chances at all. Okay, I think that's good enough. They're not going to be getting at us up here now. Uh, let's look inside of here for a second. I'm going to bust all this out, too. And it's Horde Night. But we should be nice and safe up here in, in church. Safe in the church. Well, except for buzzards. Where are you, you son of a... I spoke too soon, didn't I? Okay. We might as well harvest these, uh... The feathers here. Okay, yeah, they can't get up here. Um... I mean, I suppose, theoretically, if they did get on the roof, they might be able to do something over this way. So let's just kind of discourage their AI from thinking that's even a possibility. Though I don't think it actually would. I mean, we could shoot down there. The problem is, though, I just I just don't have enough ammo, you know, right now. This is all I've got, um, and 82 crossbow bolts, so we just don't really have enough resources to take the horde on right now. So that's why I say I think we're just going to hang out here um, in the tower and uh, probably not do much more than that tonight. But let's go back up there. Let's check the boxes first. I do have a f uh, some lockpicks, so hopefully enough to get in there. None of that stuff's worth a shit right now to us. That's uh, definitely worth something. Is this much better than our uh, than this one? No, ours is better. All right, you know what we can do? We can go and at least scrap uh, this stuff, and I can turn the scrap into uh, junk turret ammo. Don't really need any of that. Okay, so let's check the two big prizes here. Here's our weapons bag. Let's see what's in there first. Um, all right, very good, very good. And we got another green junk turret. We're gonna have to compare that to what we have. We have um, 18 lockpicks. We should be able to get in, into this thing with 18 lockpicks. Lord, I hope so. Okay, so I think it took us like four, four, something like that, not too bad. And there's our stuff. All right. Um, not super, super awesome, 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 super awesome stuff. I <laughs> uh, would have preferred ammunition and maybe a better gun, but it is what it is, right? 
Uh, we don't care about this, so we're just going to automatically scrap that. This is worth 200 coin. We might see if we can hang on to that for the moment. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. None of that's doing us any good. And, um... Okay, so let's compare these. Okay, so this has kind of the same situation we were in before. It's got one more armor rating, but one less resistance. Uh, so it's just not worth it. So we're going to scrap a doodle that. Let's check the pants. Yeah, pants aren't as good. Uh, the armor armor pants aren't as good as either. So, yeah. Oh, we were going to compare these two. Okay, this one has one less damage, but 14 more in the magazine and a little faster. I think that's probably not a bad trade-off, actually. I mean, because the junk turret's more of a, a distraction and a, you know, a, a stunning device than it is an actual kill device, at least at this point, because I don't have, you know, I don't have the points for that. So this is going to definitely be worth fixing up and selling, though. But this, I think this will become our new junk turret right there. Let's uh, modify that just to unload it. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, I mean, it's mostly a side improvement, but 14 more shots uh, is actually, you know, for the trade-off of one less damage on a junk turret with no skills is a pretty good, pretty good way to go, I think. All right, guys, we have one more thing to do uh, before we wrap things up here. Let me put a couple more things in here that we don't need right now, because we, Oh, you know what we could do, though? We could put this on our auger. No, put it on their auger, not throw it away. Dude. There we go. What's that change? So we currently have 22 block damage. Now we have 24. And it'll even do better in, in dirt, too. Uh, we have that mod, uh, which we could put on... Uh, here. I think I'd rather have the cargo... S yeah, we, we better keep that. <laughs> we better keep that thing. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather have the cargo space than the improved fittings. That helps us move around just barely a tiny bit more, but not enough to pass up another inventory slot. Now this we could put on here. All right, so right now we're doing 63 range damage. Now we're doing 67 range damage. So that's a decent improvement. And we have a full stack. Well, no, because it's just unloaded, isn't it? Let's get all this stuff loaded back up now after modding it. Okay, that stuff's good. We need to repair this, don't we? So one last thing we're going to do before I let you go, and that is we have some skill points to spend. And we have three skill points to spend, as a matter of fact. Uh, I want to turn all this into junk turret ammo. So let's take a look at that. Now, guys, I, I've i kind of lied to you, okay? Not, not on purpose. Not on purpose. I would never do that to you. But... I've been I've said a couple of times now that I'm not going to put any points into intellect and we're just going to hold out until we find the schematics for a vehicle. The thing about that is though is I, I am I am spending so much time on foot trying to find the next trader. It's really dangerous. We're expending more ammo than I want to just to stay alive. And I think I'm going to capitulate. And we're going to go ahead and put the points into intellect that we need in order to make the mini bike. Now, in the long run, it doesn't matter because in the long run, we can buy Grandpa's Forget Elixir and respec. You know, and we should, we could probably do that, in, in, you know, anytime in the mid game. We just have to raise about uh, 28,000 coin. Uh, and we have the cigar. Which will give us, you know, give us a discount. Actually, it'll probably be thirty-two thousand with with just a cigar. But anyway, point being that you know we're not stuck with the the points that we take now, and we really need to be taking the points that are going to benefit us the most here and now. And a mini bike will make a huge difference. So uh, that being said, I also have a nerdy, so that works in our favor because that gives us an extra point in intellect just by wearing them. All right, so let's go uh, to intellect now. What we need to do is we need to get the Grease Monkey 
um, or, I'm sorry, we need to get to intellect level four in order to take mini bike master level two. All right, so let's go ahead and put two points into intellect. We have an effective level four now. And now what we can do is put a point into to, uh, a bicycle mechanic. And then the next time we level, we'll be able to put that point into mini bike master and we'll be, be able to make the mini bike. Okay, so here's what the plan's going to be. Um, I have, the last time I left you, this is where we were at the Shaka Messiah. So I worked my way all the way up around here. Just kind of, kind of, again, staying on the perimeter of the mega city. And I'm almost thinking this it really is more of a town than part of the mega city, but I'm not... I'm not sure it could it still could be because I mean th these mega cities are huge one instant one, one little side note uh, when I was up here I saw more skyscrapers in this area so we have like another city uh, not too far to the north of here which is kind of cool because remember there are three mega cities in total on this map uh, so having two of them you know this close together is actually pretty nice but I suppose if you look at it though this one's almost the same distance from here as this one is so i guess they're pretty evenly spaced out anyway all that to say um we still had, we did you know i i looked all the way off into this area and i just didn't see anything that looked like a traitor so i'm what i'm going to do after horde night is finished is i'm going to work my way back around you know this perimeter this part of the city just to get it mapped out and then i'm going to go all the way back down to our original location where our trader is i have some resources in our cave base and we're going to stay in this area until we can get that mini bike um, made. And he's got all, everything we need, the trader does. He's got the forge, you know, and he's got the workbench and all that stuff. So we'll get the mini bike made. And then once we have that, you know, then we're going to be able to cover a hell of a lot more ground looking for uh, the trader that we need. Because I really like this central city. I like, you know, the, the, the buildings kind of along the waterfront here. Um, we have two options with that, too. I mean, there's buildings along the, the waterfront of the big lake, but then, you know, they kind of also wrap around this this more in, inner lake here, which is really neat. And I'm very tempted to build a base right out in the middle of the lake and have, you know, have a tunnel that goes under the, the lake to get to the base, and that would be our base. Uh, I haven't decided for sure if that's what I'm going to do, but I'm certainly considering that as a possibility. Uh, but I just like this area. This whole town is just really cool. Uh, the city, rather. Uh, you know, City by the Bay is what I've been calling it, so it's really neat. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much where we're at. I'm going to spend the night up here until Horde Night is over. Cower in the tower, right? And then uh, as soon as it's over, we're going to we're gonna bail off, and I'm just going to make my way on foot back around here and work my way all the way back down here. So if nothing... Uh, noteworthy happens between now and then. I probably won't bring you back until we're all the way back, you know, uh, to our, our original home here so we can get started making the mini bike. But I'll, I'll keep the recorder uh, ready to go in case something, you know, really not so does happen that I want to, you know, capture on camera for you guys. So that is the plan, guys. We have a plan. I feel good about it. And uh, we're going to move forward. As soon as we have that mini bike, it's going to be a game changer for sure. So that's about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.